Have all Cowboy fans there. All Cowboy fans. What do you... Cowboys? Speaking of the Cowboys... Ooh! Now, this is a salvo fired across the bow. I mean, this is... This is one that is even... This is even extreme for Jerry Jones, who has done some extreme things in his time in the league to rankle other owners. Jerry Jones, the owner of the Dallas Cowboys, as you may know, and one of the NFL's most powerful figures, as you may know, has escalated his feud with Commissioner Roger Goodell by threatening to sue the league and some of the other owners over negotiations to extend Goodell's contract. Oh, jeez. Jones told the six owners on the league's compensation compensation committee last week that he has hired David Boyes, only the highest profile lawyer just about in America, Now, Boyce is a little under fire right now himself. And he's been on the show. We've had David Boyce on the show. I know him from the Imus days. Uh, David Boyce is a brilliant man. I mean, as you know, going back to the cases he has argued, I mean, he's a brilliant man. But he's in a little bit of, he's under some fire with the uh, Harvey Weinstein thing. But according to the people, uh, that he has hired David Boyce to get involved in this case and to block the contract extension of Goodell. The dispute between Jones and Goodell stems from Jones' anger, according to this, over his anger, well, it has to be over a bunch of issues, that include, it says here, his handling of the Elliott thing. Uh, The suspension announced in August has since undergone a dizzying array of rulings and court appeals. Um... That kept Elliott on the field. Uh, Jones has called the suspension an overcorrection at Goodell. And also the kneeling, and this is the biggest reason, he has been a little annoyed that it's gone on this long, but in the beginning he didn't feel that Jones, uh, that Elliott was being hurt badly. He just thinks it's gone on too long. Here's the big one. The battle inside the organization that prides itself on order and unanimity, but is in the middle of one of the most tumultuous seasons ever, has dealt with players kneeling during the National Anthem to protest social injustice, a wave of injury to star players, and television ratings that continue to slide. Jones said in a conference call last Thursday with the six owners, those of the Chiefs, the Falcons, the Giants, the Patriots, the Steelers, and the Texans. So think about who you're talking about here. You're talking about Hunt. You're talking about Blank, Mara, Kraft. Obviously the Roonies and McNair. That legal papers were drawn up and would be served this Friday if the committee did not immediately scrap its plans to extend Goodell's contract. So those six... Now, remember, I've told you in the past, the two biggest supporters of Goodell are Rooney and Mara. He doesn't get elected commissioner without Rooney. Rooney and Mara are always a tandem, as you know, interrelated by marriage, great friends. You know, the Steeler family, the Giant family worked very well together. They, They also run their franchises virtually the same way. All right. They're two of the six, but now he has told them that he will serve papers on. This is a absolute cannon shot across the bow on the NFL. This is chaos now for the NFL. There are boys who's one of the premier lawyers in, in the world. As of Wednesday, as of today, the owners have not been sued. Jones would not comment on this. The NFL did not have comment on this. And Boyes' law firm, David Boyes' law firm, would not return calls either. 
Now, Jones has been a non-voting member of a committee of owners that is considering Goodell's contract, which expires at the end of 2018, and Jones has fought to have a say. After, after Jones spoke to the committee by conference last week, the six owners revoked Jones's status as an ad hoc member of the committee, which decides compensation packages for league officials. So the compensation committee, which I just gave you the six guys, they pulled Jones's status as a member, as an ad hoc member, after he opposed them last week. Now, he said he had had it with how he was dealing. He said when the commissioner didn't come up with a remedy to the anthem thing, he was going against them. That was the final straw. That was about 10 days ago. Over the next several days, six owners then spoke to the other 25 owners, not on the committee, to notify them about what Jones has done. So now you have 31 right now, as we know, standing against one, although Jones has stated privately to people, that he thinks he can get 17 owners on his side. That's what he has stated. Now, whether he can or not, nobody knows. Jones, known for his brassy talk and bold moves, may be making the most wild and audacious maneuver yet in taking on his fellow owners. Now, remember, this is a guy who left NFL Properties just bolted, went out on his own, which was considered to be absolute, you know, absolute, not only disloyalty, it was considered to be just the worst move any owner ever made when he made it at the time. The threat of this, though, is reminiscent of the steps taken by Al Davis, who successfully sued the league in the 80s to win the right to move his team. When he was told he couldn't, he sued for the right and won the right to move his team to L.A. But Jones's case is potentially more volatile because he has threatened to sue not just the league, but individual owners. David Boyce is a prominent lawyer who has argued cases before the Supreme Court, as we know. We have go back to the days of... Uh, Bush and Gore, go back to, I've had Boyce on about a couple of cases here in my life, he's a, he's a, one, and I've met him, he used to be on IMS all the time, he's a wonderful man, not a very nice man. But, Boyce drew widespread criticism this week, that he, when he was found out that he was doing stuff for Harvey Weinstein, which, you know, right now, you don't want to be within a country mile of. Now, well, I don't know what Boyce's relationship is to Weinstein. I don't know. That, that's a, that I don't know. And that's his business. I don't have anything to do with that. What I'm telling you, though, is the fact that he, he would get a guy like that, that means who's a, you know, a lawyer who costs a fortune, absolute fortune. You're going, you mean business. He went and got the guy that if you want to sue somebody, you got the right guy. So... Jerry Jones going after the league in about as big a way as human. This year for the NFL now has become utter chaos. And you know what? Eventually the owners are all going to get together and they're going to say, what's the one thing here that we think could maybe alleviate all this chaos? And eventually they're going to come up with the answer that it's a new commissioner. That could quiet things down. As much as they love what Goodell's done for him, he has become a target outside. He's become a target inside. And now he's taken on a blood feud with... Now, listen, Roselle had one with Al Davis for years. And you had Klein and Modell and Roselle against Al Davis. And Gene Klein and Al Davis hated each other to the point of purple passion. So we've been down to worse than this, but this is really, really big. And for him to threaten the league that way, for them to throw him off the committee, and for him then to, to threaten to sue them, 
and sue the league. Wow. This is a absolute Whoa, what a what an absolute this is like detonating a detonating a nuclear weapon in the inside the NFL. This is big. You could this could be chaos for the NFL right now. I tell you one thing about Jerry Jones, man, he does not back down. He does not and you wonder you know when when do when do the returns for Goodell become diminishing? And can Jerry Jones get enough owners on his side to think that maybe the compensation or the way to come up with a cooperative piece here is to change commissioners? Be very interesting. But I noticed some of those guys, Mara, Rooney, they'll go to the mat for Goodell, and especially against Jerry Jones. There's a lot of guys who will go to the mat against Jerry Jones. They don't love him. They they know his good sides, and they even like him a lot personally. But as far as from a business standpoint, a lot of them can't stand him. So he's he's the rebel. He's replaced Al Davis as the rebel, and he'll stand against the whole league, which obviously he's not afraid to do. This is chaos. Back after. 